need to learn more about elevators. Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Edith DeFrancesco, Vice President of Product Development here at Otis Elevator Company. Wow, th that sounds interesting. Do you actually build elevators? Here at the test tower, we test elevators for safety and efficiency. And I don't personally build elevators, although as a mechanical engineer, I've worked on elevator designs. You're an engineer? I'm doing a report on engineers for career day. Great. I'll show you where we design and test our elevators. We have lots of engineers working on elevator design. This is our test tower. After we design the elevators, we bring them here to test them to see how they will work when they're installed. How do elevators work? Elevators are driven by electric motors, and on the motor shaft is a pulley called a shiv. Over the shiv hang steel cables. It's basically a box on a rope. On one end of the cable is the elevator car, which carries the people, and on the other end is the counterweight. What's a counterweight? A counterweight is a steel frame full of weights, and it balances the weight of the elevator car and the people in it, so that it takes less force to move the elevator. How does it reduce the amount of force needed? Think of it like a balance scale. The force needed to turn the shiv is related to the difference between the weight of the car, with the people in it, and the weight of the counterweight. The closer those two are in weight, the more balanced the system is, and the easier it is to turn the shiv. How does an elevator go up and down? Well, when the motor turns, the shiv rotates. The cables stay on the shiv in these grooves, and with the friction between the cables and the shiv, the cables move with the shiv when it rotates, making the elevator go up and down. Sounds like friction's a good thing to have in an elevator. Yes, we call it traction, and it's very important. We don't need a very big elevator for our treehouse. Do elevators come in different sizes? Yes, they can be as small as a dumbwaiter, about a half a meter by a half a meter. How big can an elevator be? Some elevators are as big as a truck. They're used to carry freight containers at seaports. But a typical commercial elevator is about a meter by two meters. It carries 10 or 12 people. Dining an elevator seems like a lot of work. It sounds like a lot of fun. It has its ups and downs.